Hey and welcome everybody. Uh, today's video is going to be about uh, zero sequence ground fault protection. Now in the power system industry when someone is referring to uh, zero sequence ground protection what they're usually inferring is that there is some kind of zero sequence CT involved in the system. Now let's back up a moment and talk about um, zero sequence and what is a zero sequence. So in three phase power we have a positive sequence a negative sequence and the zero sequence. Uh, there'll be another video discussing going over these symmetrical components. Um, however, um, for the sake of this video, we'll just talk about the zero sequence real quick. Um, this is very closely related to ground, and it's a way that you can detect um, ground uh, currents if there is a phase to ground fall, um, two phase to ground. But again, there'll be a separate video going over the math of uh, symmetric components if you would uh, want to view that. Now, usually we see um, zero sequence uh, protection in medium voltage and sometimes high voltage too. Uh, this can be anything from 4160 and above. Um, so you, you might see it on uh, low voltage, uh, 480. Some engineers have designed zero sequence uh, protection for 480, depending on the application. Uh, we've seen it used in some paper paper mills before. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, draw uh, one of our systems here and show you guys how it's implemented and how it really works. Alrighty, so here's our system. Um, it's a delta to delta, delta to delta transformer. You have a 4160 on the low side. And um, here is A phase, B phase, and C phase, and you have a feeder breaker coming off, um, and this is going feeding some type of load. Um, usually, uh, this section right here is in, in a switch gear. This section right here is in a switch gear. That's a bus, and then on the load side of the medium voltage breakers, there's cables that run out to the load. So these right here, they're going to be cables. Um, so the zero sequence CT is placed right here, usually somewhere in the back of the gear. And all of these cables run through one single CT. It's a, it's a pretty hefty uh, CT. And what that does is if there is a ground fault, it'll sense the zero sequence current. Okay. Now, even if the system is, is unbalanced and there's no ground fault, it will not pick it up. Um, if there is a phase-to-phase a, a -phase fault, it will not pick it up. It, 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 zero sequence has to do with ground. It will only pick, up, pick it up if, if there's a ground fault. Now, if the system is operating normally, you're not going to have any output on um, the secondary of the CT. Okay, you're not going to have anything coming out of X1 because everything is jivey. It's, it's working fine, and there's no, the CT is not sensing any zero sequence current. So this CT right here would be uh, wired up to um, the relay for the breaker here. And say you have a relay sitting somewhere. Okay. So there's our relay. And it'll, um, the relay will, will detect that there's zero sequence current flowing when there's a ground fault. And depending on what level you set it at, it's going to send a trip signal to the breaker. Now... Um, something that we haven't talked about is the difference, difference between um, low voltage and medium voltage systems. This is a medium voltage system because of the voltage level. It's 4160, 4160 volts. So this relay uh, sits outside of the breaker. And this breaker right here will typically be either a vacuum bottle breaker or um, some, if you're, in, if you're in Europe, it might be SF6 in those, uh, in those bottles. Uh, it is not a, a standard low voltage um, circuit breaker that has... Uh, just mechanical contacts that open and close. It has contacts, but it, there, it, it's in a vacuum bottle in order to help extinguish the arc and uh, break the flow of current. Uh, so it is a different type of beast altogether. So um, I hope that uh, helps uh, kind of um, understanding what uh, zero sequence current protection is and how it's applied in the field and how it really works. If you guys have any questions or concerns or comments, uh, Please leave them below and feel free to subscribe. Thanks. Have a good day.